Hello, Hiro. And I hope that I'm uh, pronouncing your name correctly when I say Hiro. Anyways, uh, I just watched your clip of you playing drums, and it sounded great. Watching some of the footage and hearing you play uh, conjured up images for me of some of my favorites, like Steve Gadd and Steve Jordan. And uh, believe it or not, I was just at lunch with Mr. Neil Peart and Terry Bozio and Don Lombardi. And we were just discussing, uh, you know, uh, being able to take flavors and, uh, and kind of approaches from some of our favorite drummers and kind of making that your own thing and using that as inspiration, being able to emulate people uh, to a degree, you know, and uh, we all do it and it's, it's awesome. You know, as, as soon as we, we were kind of looking through a few people to, uh, to look at and for me to critique and yours came up first and I went, this is the guy, I want to see him. We look no further. Because you're playing a bunch of great stuff, man, and great feel, and uh, I really enjoyed all the uh, kind of ghost notey stuff and uh, all the action on the snare drum. Uh, great feel with the shuffle stuff that you're playing, and uh, conjured up for me one of my favorites, which is Steve Gadd. I saw some Steve Gadd influence in there, and maybe some Steve Jordan influence in there with some of the, the grooves and the beats, and uh, the fact that it was all kind of interplay between the the hi hat, the kick, and the snare. And lots of times just using that hi-hat almost like as a metronome and letting the kick and the snare doing all the uh, in-between uh, funkiness and filling in the blanks and all the, the polyrhythms and stuff, man, it's very cool. And uh, a lot like the stuff that I like to listen to and that I like to emulate and play like. And uh, you might not know it by all the dumb rock records I play on, but uh, that was fantastic. I thought it was great, man, and keep up the good work.